Hey, what's going on everybody? Turtle Power 1982 back with a long overdue video. I'm not focusing any attention on one thing in this video. It's pretty much just a collection kind of update of stuff I picked up over the last couple of months. I uh, just celebrated my birthday over the weekend, so there's going to be a few TMNT uh, gifts that I received in there that are pretty awesome. And uh, also some of the stuff that I picked up at uh, Fan Expo 2012 this year in uh, beautiful Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So anyways, without further ado, check out what I got. Alright, so, like I said, this is a collection update video. Uh, this is my uh, man cave, and this is my uh, table full of the new uh, Nickelodeon Playmates uh, figures based on the show, even though they don't really look like they belong on the show. Um, they have a little bit more of a comic booky feel, but anyways, this is my man cave. There's Elvira, she guards shit. A bunch of video games and stuff. Those empty little bins are actually where I had all these. I just wanted to pull them out and make a quick video. So yeah, I have the uh, the whole series. Um, got a couple splinters, a couple Aprils, a couple Shredders, uh, three Leonardos, uh, two MOC rafts. I opened one of them. I haven't really gotten around to opening many of these, but they are uh, extremely cool. I will do reviews on them. Um... I got uh, three MOC Mikeys and one open. Uh, this was my first attempt at doing like a custom. I actually gave him uh, nunchucks with actual chains on them. Not this one yet, but as you can see, like they stress just from like bending a bit. Like I haven't even fucked around with this, but yeah, I uh, made a little custom, made real chains. Think it looks a lot better. I'll post a video on how to do that. Um, three MOC Donatello's. Um, this one has been the hardest one for me to find the Krang. I just picked that up like a week ago. I've been searching for it forever. Uh, I got the uh, Shell Razor, or the new turtle van. And uh, I have a mountain of foot soldiers. I think I have like eight of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have eight foot soldiers. Um, thought I had more. I probably do somewhere. They're probably like in a bag, shove in a closet or some shit. But basically my whole deal was I really wanted to get, you know, one set mint on card and, you know, open up the others. The foot soldiers are clearly an army builder. The Krang will be an army builder too, but like I said, I haven't been able to find more than one, uh, since the release, so. Um, yeah, another thing to note, um, I live in Canada, so we do get the the international style packaging with all the uh, different languages and it actually says Spin Master Toys which is like the Canadian division of Playmates. Playmates is on there so they're not bootlegs. But that's how they look uh, here in Canada. So uh, yeah that's that and um, I've got some couple Adventure Time figures. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, anyways let's move on to the other stuff. Alright so yeah I totally got the classics as well. Um, this one's uh been opened. So my Leonardo actually got three of him and uh, two of all the other ones. Um, yeah. Here's the box. Has six of them in it. My other Mikey and Donatello are chilling up on the shelf. I just don't really feel like putting them, taking them down. Um, yeah, Donatello's cross-eyed. All my other ones turned out um, actually quite well. So yeah, that's the classics. Alright, so like I said before, I just celebrated my birthday over the weekend, so uh, I'll show you some of the TMNT stuff that I got. <clears throat> I got these from my girlfriend. Uh, she's fucking awesome. She pays attention to my videos when I did my huge, like, loose collection of uh, vintage figures. And she uh, totally picked up on the ones that I wanted and needed. So first uh, and foremost, I got a pizza face, which is awesome. Uh, mint on card. Uh, unpunched, which is rad. Uh, also got um, Muckman and Joe Eyeball mint on card on punched. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, Wingnut and Screw Loose on card. Uh, this one's got a little fold in it, but I can probably straighten that out. Don't tell anyone. Uh, it's unpunched as well. Um, she also got me some Simpsons action figures, Lenny and Carl and Mr. Burns, which are some of my favorite characters from the show, especially Mr. Burns. Lenny and Carl are like a tag team, so I'd like only consider them one character. Uh, she also got me a TMNT cake. Maybe I'll throw in a picture of that in the video if I have time, which was awesome. She had a uh, Toronto Batman show up to my birthday party and, you know, just rip on me and all my friends. 
for a couple hours and that was really cool so big shout outs to uh, Nat for like being so awesome uh, also we went to Fan Expo uh, at the end of August so I can show you some of the shit I picked up there um, met Jillian Anderson really a uh, really nice chick total babe she's looking better and better all the time uh, some comics I got signed uh, Ryan Stegman signed uh, right there uh, Scarlet, Scarlet Spider number one on the new run. Um, this was the Fan Expo Amazing Spider-Man 692 variant cover by uh, J. Scott Campbell, and uh, he signed it on there. Pretty cool. Gwen Stacy and Stanley and Mary Jane, Aunt May and stuff. Really cool. Um, he was a really nice dude. Uh, Tony Daniel signed my copy of uh, New 52 Detective number one, which is uh, pretty awesome. I didn't bring a shit ton of books with me, although I could have. Um, got to meet Michael Dooney, who was my favorite TMNT artist of all time. So he's uh, signed this uh, Savage Dragon TMNT crossover. A little doodle on there. So those are some of the books I got signed. Uh, also, I got to meet um, Stan Lee. So he signed my uh, old school Amazing Spider-Man number 20. This is the first appearance of the Scorpion. So, uh, you know, meeting him, or quote-unquote meeting him, you didn't really get to meet him. You kind of just, like, shove your book in front of him, he signed it, and you had to walk away. I was like, thanks, Stan. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, cool, awesome. So, yeah, um, my certificate of authenticity or whatever with it. So, pretty cool. Um, some prints that I picked up. I'm a big Walking Dead fan. This is my uh, Tony Moore print, which is signed. This is actually Walking Dead, I believe, issue 16's cover. So, that was pretty cool. Um... Got another piece from J. Scott Campbell. I got this uh, badass black hat print, which is fucking so cool. I love it. Um, so he signed that as well. And then back to Michael Dooney. Michael Dooney makes a set of 10 exclusive prints for all of the conventions. So that was the Fan Expo 2012. And uh, it's a TMNT. And as you can see, they're hand numbered. I got number 1 of 10, signed by Michael. And my biggest, biggest, biggest pickup, I think, at Fan Expo that, you know, I was totally pumped on getting was, uh, this original. I had Michael Dooney commission it for me. Uh, it's just a temporary frame job, but he did an original of Leonardo for me. And, uh, that was really badass. And he's a really sweet dude. So, uh, yeah, that's my Fan Expo pickups. Uh, I'm probably going to wrap the video here because I'm probably pushing time limits. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for being patient. I know I haven't posted a video in a long time. I'm not going to make excuses other than I am fucking lazy. But uh, I will be back. Um, I'll let you know my thoughts on the uh, first run of uh, TMNT under IDW. Just wrapped that up not too long ago with the 12th issue along with all the micro series books. So, uh, and I'll give you my thoughts on that in total. I'll show you all the variant covers I was able to get. I got most of them. Um, I'll be back to do some figure reviews as well, and, uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Check you later.